in Matthew chapter 14, we see in a, a, a major story. And in the story, we're looking at Peter. He's in the same body that he had when he was young, a teenager. Same body he had when he was five years old. This is the same body, but he never walked on water before. Now, all of a sudden, we see Peter able to do something that he has never done in the history of his life. They see the Lord walking on the water. And Peter is the only one that engages the Lord and tells him, if it's you, bid me to come. The Lord tells him to come. And now Peter has an ability in operation that never been in operation before. But then the Bible said that Peter started looking at the waves and the storm. And Peter began to sink. So he lost the divine ability by his mindset. So your mindset is the headquarters of what you can do through the spirit. One man can work miracles and the other man could be begging for miracles. Because it's all based upon the mindset. God's glory was built to flow through the mind. So that's why the Bible says he does exceedingly abundantly above all that you could act or think according to the power that works through you, the power that works in you, rather. But it's the mindset that one has that God is doing exceedingly abundantly above all that you could act or think. See, above all you could act, you, you act with your mouth, but think. This is what your thoughts are doing. So that means that God is studying two things as well. What you're asking and what you're thinking. You know that he's studying what you're asking because it said that he does exceedingly abundantly above all you could ask. And then you know that he's studying what you're thinking. Because it said that he'll do exceedingly abundantly above all you could ask or think. So God looks at what a man thinks. Then he looks at what a man acts. So you notice what's going on in Matthew chapter 14, verse 27 to 31. Peter is acting. Peter is thinking. His thinking is where? Is it on the storm or is it on Jesus? No, it's on Jesus. This is how he develops and discovers the divine ability. How does the divine ability decline? How does he lose the divine ability? Because it gets, the thinking moves away from Jesus. And it goes back into the storm and the natural. So everybody have abilities that they could either operate in in the Lord if they learn to only focus on the Lord. If you don't focus on the Lord, those abilities stop. So let me show you something. Supernatural money moving is an ability when you focus on the Lord of the harvest. When you see the Lord as the harvest producing God, the seed multiplying God, until you could see him as that, if you only looking at the natural, you can't tap into the ability of supernatural money moving. So why was there a big wealth transference in Moses' day? Because everybody had positioned their mind on worship. So they're all thinking about worship. So now God is able to transfer silver and gold to them because their mind is on the Lord. Now watch this. I'm going to show you something. These same people whose mind was on the Lord 
sowing, honoring God, worshiping God, their mindset switched and their, their thinking switched and their acting switched. Remember, he does exceedingly abundantly above all you could ask or think. Two things switch, their acting and their thinking, because they started to ask for flesh. They started to ask for, they wanted meat. So their acting switched. Their thinking switched. They started complaining about the wilderness, which means that they're thinking about the wilderness. So they declined that supernatural money moving ability. They declined that promotion. They declined the promised land. So when God tells Moses, when he strikes the rock instead of speaking to the rock, when he tells him he's not going to enter into his promised land, what happened with Moses' mind? It declined from looking at the Lord to looking at the children of Israel. And now he's frustrated with them because he's not looking at the Lord. And the strength to cooperate and be at peace and be wholesome is in the Lord, not in them. So when Lazarus dies, remember the same sisters that were praising God, they are the ones that's telling the Lord, you should have been here. But what's happening to their mind? And what's happening to their acting, their thinking and their acting? It has declined and become demonic because they're not looking at Jesus. They're looking at Lazarus in the tomb. They're looking at the, 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 um, the memorial. They're looking at the death certificate with Lazarus wearing roses and stuff. <laughs> Lazarus wearing Bob Marley gear and stuff like that and his hair all decorated in a pit. Ambi cream and all that, all that makeup on him. And they got his picture. <laughs> they just they just play with mics and stuff. They got him all over Jerusalem on the pamphlet. <laughs> they stand at Lazarus picture talking about he you know, he was born uh, 1978 BC, died 2023 BC uh, AD. BC they staring at that and it's bothering them they <laughs> they see his baby pictures and stuff when he had that little ponytail in the back and it was bald in the front <laughs> you know them parents don't love you when they have that 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 ponytail hanging from the back of your head like that you got an afro and a ponytail in the back or you got all your hair cut off on the side. and they... I think parents back in the 90s got joy if their children had bubble glasses. Because they, it like, they didn't feel their kid was smart unless they had them big old glasses, them big old oil shine, moonshine glasses. It looked like you Horace Grant playing with Michael Jordan. <laughs> the big old, big old gogglers. I think they felt like their child was smarter if his glasses was bigger. The bigger the glasses, the bigger the, the bigger the smarts. But they're looking at the memorial pictures. They're looking at all these things concerning Lazarus rather than Jesus. And so they don't have the ability to move in the supernatural. Let me ask you a question. Next one. What if, what if, what if the Lord was going to impart the ability to ra raise Lazarus to the dead to one of his sisters, but it never happened? You know why? 
because their mind wasn't right for the supernatural. Are you catching this? Their mind wasn't right for the supernatural, so he could never give them the ability because the ability is connected to a mind frame. 